In this Sign Warehouse tutorial, we'll get familiar with the Arc Text Tool. Let's click and hold the text icon to see more options. And now, we choose the option that looks like letters on top of a hill. It's the Arc Text Tool. Once it's selected, click anywhere on your canvas. And the program responds by inserting a circle with your cursor ready to type along a downward arc. If I hit enter on my keyboard, the cursor moves to the opposing side of the circle, where I can type along an upward arc. Now understand that the circle isn't a true object. It's just a path on which we can type. So if we click anywhere else, the circle is gone and leaves only the text. Now to control the size of my circle, or text arc, we click, hold, and pull our circle in any direction to the size that we want. Notice that the cursor begins where we originally clicked. I'll show you again. We click, hold, pull, and when we let go, the cursor begins where we originally clicked. Now as we discussed in previous videos, we can customize and fine tune using Design Central. We still have character and paragraph control. We also have some options specific to this tool. Here we can adjust the radius of the arc. We can also adjust the rotation of the text on the path. And then we have the option to adjust where the text is in relation to the arc line, whether it's top-bottom or more of a title-subtitle look. We can put the text directly on the line or even on the inside. All of these options are available when using the text tool. But as we discussed in our last tutorial, we have more ways to customize when using the selection arrow. Just like before, we can customize every character without messing up the arc. Remember, the selection tool lets me customize my text like it's an object, but it's still text, so we can still break apart our text, providing even more control. You can probably already imagine opportunities when you might use the ARC text tool. But did you know you're not limited to writing straight or in a perfect circle? Our next video will show you how to create text on a custom path.